number 128, the house that Nora decorated. Come in. After you. Episode 5, Master Bedroom, Best Bedroom. I apologise, it really isn't how it was, apart from the curtains. The curtains are the same. The whole room was a tribute to a beigey brown. Have you ever made mushroom soup? In the Book of Words, Leave for New Owners, uh, it's got a list of some of the brownie beiges that were here. Um, Dulux Vinyl Silk, Early Dawn, it's a kind of brownie beige. Vinyl Spice, it's a kind of beigey brown. Um, Pantheon, this is sort of brown with a hint of brown in it. Um, and there's a colour here also called Totally Nutmeg. So in 1984, this is my mum and Cliff's bedroom. Oh yeah. And uh, there was, oh, there was a lot of action. This room saw a lot of action, a lot of passionate action. My mum writes about it rather embarrassingly. She writes about her sex life. It was very important to her. And they did it a lot, you know, they really did. He'd come back from the Bahamas and he told her that there's this other woman. He's met the other woman and in a year he's going to go and live with her. But my mum has got him for a year. And she writes a lot of poems in that year. And they're full of bitterness and hope. And they're full of her trying to cope with her jealousy. And there are all sorts of things. And uh, dear, here's one from November 1984. I'm going to miss you, darling, but I cannot hold you here. And it says at the bottom, written the day before I attempted suicide. And here's one. This is um, eight months after that. So it's the last poem in, in this book. And it says, um, it tells about a, uh, an evening. They went out to a restaurant in the summer of 1985. Candlelit dinner, walked back along the river, past the, past the willows where we'd loved. They came back here to this room and they went to bed and they had sex, they had passionate sex. And in the morning, again, they had a lot of sex. And the tick-tock total was 27, 27. Whatever that means. And then after that, well, Cliff just made sure he had a last shag, really, and he just had something that my mum would never be able to forget. Never be able to forget him. Never get over him. One last bit of control, and then he left. He was gone, and she never saw him again. A year after that, in December 1986, in the Christmas newsletter, ah, all news of me and, and my sister, everybody's activities, Cliff is still in the Bahamas and has no intention of returning. He says, though, in letters to my mum, that in spite of the work situation and mounting debts, he has never before in his life felt so happy and contented. He's having new and beautiful experiences and meeting lots of lovely people. Yeah, there was a beigey brown wardrobe -y curtain thing around there. There were bedspreads of different flowery beigey patterns. There were pillows of a contrasting thing. It really was quite uh, gloomy there. And um, so I had to change it, really. Apart from the curtains, because they're great for when you don't want to see the day. Humble bound the hand in the pimpy, hand the world of the wind in the pimpy, and the dumb macaroni cheese. I owe some money.